Anthony Rizzo is a Yankee now. If you didn't know that, now you do. I watch the Yankees every night, and from watching Rizzo every night, I've learned that he hits the most foul ball home runs I've ever seen someone hit. It's mostly because he stands so close to the plate. If a pitcher pitches him in, he fouls it like into the dugout. If a pitcher pitches him in the middle of the plate, he hits those for foul ball home runs. If a pitcher throws a pitch over here, he'll just get a hit. Look at all these foul ball home runs. Out goals. Three years with the Mets. For way. Audrey went. <laughs> tw- oh. You too. Drives that deep to right field, but foul. That's only in two months' time. Just every game, he's going to hit a home run that goes foul. My buddy Jake was like, hey, why doesn't he aim 25 feet more towards center field? This is exactly what Giancarlo Stanton did. He inverted his stance so his rocket fouls became homers, and then everything else just went up the middle. Maybe Rizzo should try the Stanton stance one spring training. Just close it off, invert it, and those foul balls become home runs. Either way, this one's brought to you by DraftKings, and you should go to DraftKings, the sportsbook, and you should bet on Rizzo. Uh, usually I say if a guy's hitting hard foul ball home runs, it's a foul ball indicator, and then you should bet on them to hit a home run the next game. But with Rizzo, he just does it constantly. So go to DraftKings, down in the sportsbook, use promo code John Boy, and just, you know, bet responsibly on whatever you like. Here's what I want to talk about. We got Rizzo, one runner on, bottom third, a couple days ago in the Bronx, and there's one of those classic foul ball home runs, and it's going to go right to these two kids, okay? We got Jersey. And we got sweatshirt, mask kid. All right, jersey, sweatshirt. This wall is going to pop up, right? It comes back to him. And Torres, number 25 in the jersey, he comes up with it. He's excited. This kid, he's got headphones in. He's got a hat on. He's upset. He's like, I didn't get it. Damn. What are the odds a foul ball comes right to me and I don't get it? That's a bummer. The next pitch Rizzo's going to take. He thinks it's outside. Um says strike. He says, uh, you, you think that caught the plate? Um says, yeah. He says, uh, it's a little off. Mm, yeah, just a little off, Blue. So I know better than you. And uh, maybe it was a little off. Next pitch, another foul ball home run. Courage thinks it's gone. He's going crazy in the second row. It's going, 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 going. It's way up there. Is it? Will it? Is it? No, it's going to be just another foul ball to the same exact spot. The same two kids are fighting for it. Sweatshirt and mask kid knows he has the height, so he just sticks his arm above Torres's head. The ball is coming, and uh, let's see what happens. It bounces once. It pops up in the air. It's going to come back down, and sweatshirt mask has it. What are the odds of that? That the foul ball, two pitches in a row, go to the same area. This kid thought he was going to be an absolute hero and get two balls and one at bat, but this kid ties it up. The game ends one-to-one. They are enemies for life, but they're also bonded for life, and they don't know how to feel about that. Eventually, Rizzo, they go way outside. See this pitch? It's way outside, and he just has has plate coverage over there because he stands so close and pokes that the other way for a single. So that's a breakdown that probably uh, not worth breaking down, but foul ball went to the same spot, and I was like, whoa, full moon? Go to DraftKings. Use promo code John Boy. Bet on Rizzo to hit foul balls. I don't think they have that bet. I don't think it's real. If they do, I'd, I'd take it. I'd put a lot of money on it because foul balls are here every game. Rizzo hits them just really hard and far. He wins the hardest, most foulest of foul balls every day.